Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, the quest for the D100. Two wins in a row, one is Eden, which was just silly with that uh, blank card, joker card, credit card, and one with Isaac, which was just silly with chocolate milk, proptosis. All of the all stats upgrades, Cricket's Head. Did I say Polyphemus? B9NMGPQ0. We're due for our Maggie run. You gotta take your medicine. Maggie, not the worst, but far from my favorite. I don't even care about taking damage because we are only on the first floor. And you know what? I've gotta, we're talking about taking your medicine. You know, I gotta learn how to deal with that room a little bit more regularly. Preferably without taking damage. Now, I found a room that requires a key very early on here. You know what that has me thinking about? Considering we're still on our quest that has been stagnant for a while to get that uh, platinum and real platinum god. Perhaps if we get some keys, we will find out that that is actually a library. That library may contain a book of revelations, and if that one in, like, 15 chance happens right there, then we've got only slightly less than a 50% chance to get a fourth level meat boy. Let's do it. <laughs> when you put it that way, it sounds very discouraging, doesn't it? Hmm. Curse of the Blind. Blue Baby's only friend. We've had this item so much lately, but getting this item early seems fantastic. Uh, it's it's going to help us do a lot more damage than I would otherwise be able to. Oh, there there definitely are two rooms here. Or, like, two key rooms. Now, let, let's go over our chances here. <clears throat> First off, I guess we'll... we'll sh Actually, you know what? Don't shoot that just yet. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get to a safe place. This was not how I should have handled that, but it doesn't matter because we have that golden poop back there. First thing I'm going to do, Wheel of Fortune, give me something. It gave me a pill. The pill is... Lock up. Then, I'm gonna walk... Oh, oh my god, I actually threaded the needle there by accident. We get a speed upgrade there. Here, we get a pheromones. I was hoping for a bombs or key. We should probably do this, just so we don't completely screw ourselves. We have no keys, and I am doing my absolute damnedest trying to get these keys. I guess you can't get that with Blue Baby's only friend. That's okay. This may be one of our best chances, as ridiculous as it is, it may be one of our best chances to get... Uh, Book of Revelations early on. Unfortunately, we have no means with which to get a key. You might be able to bomb our way through a secret room and get access to that room up there, but then there's like a 50% chance it's not even the library. Then we've got to go through the chances of it not being a, uh, or it not having Book of Revelations, and then we've got to go through the freaking chances of it, um, giving us Bandage Girl, and then we got to go through the freaking chances of it you know, ending in us fighting Conquest or Headless Horseman or something like that. That being said, Blue Baby's only friend is awesome here. Blue Cap. I don't think there's anywhere for us to go. The only way that I can see this actually working out for us now is we bomb here and it's a secret room with two keys in it. There you go. I tried. Let nobody ever say that I didn't try to become, uh, or try to get that early library in the hopes that it was a library. I invested all of my resources into getting it and did not get it. That being said, as salty as I am about that whole uh, Meat Boy thing, I think we can put it behind us uh, once this floor is over anyway. And um, we can just relish the fact that Blue Baby's only friend is a stellar item for us this early. Did you see how easily we just tore into the haunt? Once we get better damage, we will uh, want to use that better damage instead of Blue Baby's only friend. But for now, this is just uh, absurd. I am just tearing through these enemies. It's basically like having a, a high-powered Ludovico technique tier very, very early on in the game. I appreciate that. Single Monstro, you are, you know, let's just put it this way, you're in for a rough time. It's almost also like having, like, a Shears baby that you can control. And Monstro is going to be dead super quickly here. I think the reason that maybe I, I've never really appreciated Blue Baby's Friend as much as I should have, I'll take it just so that we, you know, keep our precedent up for the future, but I think the reason that I've never appreciated Blue Baby's Friend as much as I should have is probably because I've always gotten it late. Picking it up early, you know, prior to the chest, is really uh, kind of emphasizing how awesome this item actually can be. And this is like the perfect test for it right here, because this room is normally nightmarish. And is still, you know, a little bit scary for me here in the, in the current moment, but hey, substantially easier than normal for sure. Dead? Not done yet, though. Oh, there's still like five more enemies over here. So I am a, I'm a big fan of this item right now, and I think that this by itself could carry me. I mean, by virtue of just making it to the chest, if you get Blue Baby's Only Friend... No, thank you. <laughs> if you get Blue Baby's Only Friend by the chest, 
you're probably um, already strong enough that Blue Baby's only friend is not really that meaningful for you, I guess. So to have it in an opportunity like this where normally I'm like, ooh, Maggie starting damage. You know I took damage there? That's embarrassing. Lockdown. Ugh. I took damage there because I was aiming Blue Baby's only friend while standing next to a TNT barrel. That's some Darwin Awards shit right there. So, you know, in terms of our time, we're doing very well on this run. We're going to be out of this floor uh, before five minutes in all likelihood. We picked up Sister Maggie. Basically broke even on HP. I appreciate the uh, extra consumable hearts here, but that's not the be-all, end-all. Mostly what we, you know, th this floor helped us out a little bit, but mostly we're going to be uh, hoping for uh, better consumables in the future. Not better consumables, better uh, deals with the devil in the future. But honestly, truth be told, maybe if we get like BFF or Hive Mind, I'm not sure which or maybe if even both would affect Blue Baby's only friend. It is technically a fly here. This, oh my god, I don't know what just happened out there, but I guess Kate's having a good run. She seems pretty excited. She's playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth Challenges right now, so. Oh, we did it. I hate that room. Sad bombs are fantastic. I love it. Um, we can definitely access this area. Swallowed Penny for free is, well, it's not really for free because we have to fight in here. Yeah, it's all right. I really, really like sad bombs. I Sometimes I see, this is apparently the Northern Lion standard like narrative is, you know, if you see an item that's good, talk about how other people think it's bad to make yourself seem, you know, smarter or somehow more enlightened. That's not really what I'm trying to do here. But, you know, I've seen, you know, I've been watching Mathis' videos from time to time. Kate really enjoys watching Mathis play Rebirth for reasons unbeknownst to me. I'm just joking. Mathis is a good, good gentleman. That was not a smart way to handle that room, but whatever, we're through. I don't really care about that penny. Um, and I saw him reroll sad bombs, like early on in the run, and I'm like, man, you don't even know the kind of power that item holds that you're just giving up for no freaking reason. Don't, th let this be a lesson you don't hate on sad bombs. Sad bombs are Tammy's head for the common man. Now mind you, you need to have consumables in order to make it work, but you can use them more than once per room. I like sad bombs a great deal, and so are you. Be careful here. Good stuff. Very easy thus far. Really, this floor is, you know, pretty much what all other floors have just been to us. We're essentially just hoping for uh, a quick deal with the devil at this point. And if I can get a little bit more money, I would like to. Actually, I would like to get a better spacebar item, so if there's an another opportunity to get a shop... Sorry, not a shop, a, a library. Give it to me. I'll take it. I'm, I'm still salty that we couldn't get that one on the first floor, but... Um, Hey, you know, we tried. Again, that's why I think the the Super Meat Boy achievement and, you know, by proxy, the, the Bandage Girl achievement are the most annoying achievements in the game. The odds of getting them, like, just to have a chance at it requires an infinitesimal kind of... Not infinitesimal, that's, like, literally just not true. But um, it requires a very low percentage chance thing to happen. You gotta get an early Book of Revelations or fight Famine and then have a little bit more time for a Book of Revelations. But especially when you've already got one of them unlocked, your chances are already halved because there's a very good chance that it drops a, um, it drops the wrong, uh, you know, either the bandage or the, the meat cube for you. So it's already like something that was incredibly minutely likely to happen becomes even less likely to happen. Although they did make it so that now that you, um, if, if you get like a bandage, you only get bandages for the rest of the run, which is a good thing overall. All right. You know what? I'll, I'll actually take both of these. Even though Horror of Babylon won't be immediately useful, I'll take it. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get the five cents and maybe make Horror of Babylon active. The mark is really good. Bad trip. Well, gave us some money. <laughs> Pheromones. And are you a wizard? Which is actually... What are we at here? Uh, very, very early on in this run, which is great. Are you a wizard doesn't matter. It is uh, not that meaningful because although our tiers do a little bit more damage now, we're still probably going to want to stick with Blue Baby's only friend as our principal damage dealer. You know, our weird kind of like Ludovico technique friend here. Uh, it is getting a little bit less great. But we're also scaling our tiers at the same time, you know? We're kind of insulated to, to real problems as a result of the fact that we have uh, Blue Baby's only friend and we can take that time to incubate our own damage for real. Well, that is not going to be a library. I will sacrifice our black heart to come in here just to see. Maybe we'll pick up something worthwhile. We should get a little money upon leaving, like one cent. And, um, well, we'll get one cent in here as well. Um, but being at uh, this amount of money means that there is a very good chance that I could get an arcade on the next floor. 
Which means I'll be taking Bad Trip with me. But uh, getting an arcade on the next floor would give us a good chance to get in that Whore of Babylon state. Ugh. If I could just uh, have like a spirit heart to keep me going or something like that. So we're going to be leaving here in about eight and a half minutes. It's very early on. Boss Rush Room, definitely something that is um, potentially on the table here. But for now, do we know it's pheromones and bad trip? We'll take bad trip with us, just in case we come across an arcade, which I think, you know, let's be optimistic. 130% chance of an arcade. There it is right there. What did I tell you? So, we want to be in the Whore of Babylon state. But we also want to do so with a spirit heart backing us up. So we can't really justify this just yet. But we'll take our money and we'll come back here into our boss trap room. Pop, I should have, eh, it's fine. I could have just used our, um, our yum heart instead of the full health pill, which would have been justifiable, I guess, but, um, this, you know, gives me a little bit of leeway. Hopefully we'll find the shop soon. We can buy a spirit heart therein, get enough money to buy the spirit heart or maybe an item from the shop as well, assuming we're not fighting greed. We do get to keep Horror of Babylon for the entirety of the room, despite the fact that I raised our HP, so I, I appreciate that. I don't really mind fighting the haunts. Again. Uh, I should be using Blue Baby's only friend, but now that we have Horror of Babylon, it seems like it's best for us to maybe not to do that. Good stuff. The haunt versus Blue Baby's only friend is a combination like Rock Beats Paper Man. Wait, I've got it completely backwards. I've been playing it wrong this whole time. That is not a shop, it is a double key room. Double key room, uh, could be, what, oh, is a neutral fly. Uh, double key room could be great or could be awful. Those are the two options, but without many keys, we're just gonna stay away from it. I don't wanna pick up the battery yet, just because, you know, we're at full HP already. If we need the battery, we can always come back and get it. I Ooh, careful, careful, there we go. Yeah, if we need the battery, we can always come back and get it. Oh, that's perfect. So we'll come back to that double key room. It feels like we've been taking forever on this run, but it's actually been working just fine. Five. Forget me now. If we have enough time, and we might, I might want to use that forget me now to, uh, well, that five room, if you will, to uh, do this floor all over again. You know, the forget me now, I, I really appreciate that there's a forget me now that is not actually a spacebar item now. It shows up pretty rarely. But still, um, the, the problem with the Forget Me Now is that you had to lose your spacebar item in order to use the Forget Me Now, which is not that good. There's our Spirit Heart. Uh, we don't really want the Magic Fingers, so that's okay. Let's check out our item room quickly bef before we put ourselves in this perma permanent Whore of Babylon state. I don't think the scissors are very good. I don't think you have to pick it up so it doesn't show up again. Like, it doesn't work anymore. Bob's Rotten Head still shows up all the time. You, in uh, stay, Same with Steam Sale, which isn't a spacebar item, but you get the idea. So we're going to take ourselves pretty low here. If we get the HP, that's fine. I would rather... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I'd rather have Horror Babble on the than the HP, but if we uh, don't have a choice in the matter, sure, give me free HP, I'll take it. We actually got a lot of money in the process. It wasn't free HP, it was like negative costing HP. So ideally, what, what's my ideal forget me now convincing situation here? Uh, the game gives me an extraordinary deal with the devil that lets me do a lot of damage, thereby mostly guaranteeing that I'll be able to get through the next floor in, like, two minutes. Again, I always mess this up now. And I should not be messing this up. And I should also probably not be taking this much time. But apparently I'm going to. Blue Baby's only friend. I still think without Whore of Babylon, our Blue Baby's only friend tiers are probably better. Plus, they're kind of penetrative in a way. Like a little bit of a roundabout way. We can hit uh, multiple enemies with them at the same time. Wow, I am uh, I lost that Spirit Heart already and actually took Red Heart damage on this floor, which means that there's a very, very bad chance that we get to deal with the Devil. I don't think I'm going to take the Forget Me now. Now that, <clears throat> now that I look at our time here, but we'll see how we do on the deal with the Devil. Dark One should be pretty easy. There is a little bit of a Blue Baby's Only Friend shuffle you can do. And also, when we get in a situation like this where a boss is like against a corner or an enemy's against a corner, we can shoot and use it at the same time. I don't think I'm going to use it. I think we got to be a little faster if we want to get to boss rush. That's going to strike a lot of people as, as a decision motivated by laziness, but it's sincerely not. It's a decision motivated by the boss rush room, which if we can get in and preferably teleport out, um, actually can be the difference between uh, a win and a loss. 
I still am, am a big fan of Blue Baby's Only Friend here. I think it's helping me out, even though I did just take red heart damage. That's on me for being an idiot. But also, we haven't had very many Tinted Rocks that have shown up over the course of the game. So, you know, yes, the, the be-all, end-all is that I'm in control of the player and I'm making some uh, dodging mistakes here. However, a little bit of a trickier uh, run from, like, maintaining... Uh, like a, a blue shield, basically. In terms of our, our spirit hearts. But we have a blue shield in the form of a blue baby's only friend here, which is working out fantastically for us. Here, just use your actual tears uh, on these guys. Probably a little easier for us to hit them with our tears since they're moving all the time. It's one of those things where, you know, if we're against a boss that has no mobility, we're probably better off. Oh, you know what? These guys are very predictable. We can use Blue Baby's only friend here. If we're against a, an enemy or a boss with no uh, mobility, Blue Baby's only friend is a huge get for us. If we're against a boss or an enemy with a lot of mobility, particularly ones that can jump or teleport, we got to be a, a little bit more dynamic with our actual shots, I think. But enemies like this, super easy as well. I think the real strength of Blue Baby's only friend, beyond the fact that it's actually just, you know, really high damage, especially early on, uh, is that... For enemies that normally you can't hit unless you're right next to them, like unless you're in a vulnerable spot yourself, that gets turned on its head. Now you can hit them at all times without being in danger yourself at all, which is awesome. All right. You only need to have like a, a second of sustained damage on these guys for them to die. So if I could actually just... There we go. <laughs> that was not great performance, I'd say. Pinky Eye is good. I hesitate saying that because I am using Blue Baby's only friend more than my actual tears. We'll be able to bomb our way into our curse room, but this is another great situation. Pretty much exactly exemplifying what I was talking about. We have uh, no risk of getting hit there, which is fantastic. And then, our curse room. Throw a bomb down here, hopefully get some spirit hearts. And one spirit heart. That might be good enough to protect me against the boss, but I did already take some red heart damage against those spiders. My bad. Anyway, these guys should be relatively easy. We can stay away from them while using Blue Baby's only friend. That's good. How's our time looking? We're almost at 15 minutes. I would like to be down to the next floor by 16.30. Three and a half minutes, if you're rushing, is about as much time as you'd, you'd need, I think, to um, do everything on the floor and also beat the boss. We still don't have any way to... Eh, I think this is okay. We still don't have any way to teleport out of um, our boss rush room. Which sucks. Because I really, with the current run that we're having, I could beat Boss Rush, but I don't want to. You know, we, we have that luxury, having beaten Boss Rush in all available forms with all available players, you know. We, we don't need to do Boss Rush unless we want to. This room is so slow. I hate it. I hate it. Slow and very likely to take damage. Judgment is good. It's a good card. I don't know when we're going to use it, but it's good. Blank card. Blank card judgment is a lot better than Yum Heart. We'll also buy the Spirit Heart. Yeah. Okay, so we should be using this as often as possible. But in particular, on the... Uh, on the uh, womb and beyond, it can be amazing. If you get some money, which is, uh, you know, it's debatable how often you'd expect that to happen in the late game. You get the idea, though. Alright, I, I botched that, but handled it a little better towards the end. Mom's Bra is actually an acceptable item... To replace Yum Heart if we had not just taken Blank Card. And there are better Blank Cards. You know, Blank Card uh, Judgment is not necessarily ideal. But it's not bad either. So we want to stay the hell away from these Leapers here if we can avoid it. But mostly, the most important thing for me, I think, is just to... Um, yeah, keep that Blue Baby's only friend doing damage there. No problem. Maybe a deal with the Devil here. Didn't earn one, but could earn one. Yeah. Let's be honest. I didn't I didn't deserve that, but we'll head down to the next floor, and I'm really going to be hoping for some kind of teleportation card, but the judgment is nice as well. We'll just save our money for now. We could end up using red hearts on it as well. You never know. The other thing is judgment could pay out with more tarot cards, but hey, hey, hey. We should also be blowing up some skulls. We got uh, three minutes and 20 seconds. How, was, how about that for timing, right? That was pretty good timing, you got to admit. I know we could get into our permanent horror Babylon state by playing this uh, arcade, but you know what? If there's a demon judgment, I'll give it a try. There is a demon judgment. Let's see if we get a demon judgment. We do! I think if we play our cards exactly right, we can actually get like four plays for the price of one here. And maybe get down to the horror Babylon state. Well, now it's not. Oh, Bad Trip is so good though. 
All right, we, we will pick this up. And we get some damage upgrades there. Look, I think we'll do that. Take our money, because we might want more judgments in the future. This puts us in the Whore of Babylon state. It's, it's a risky proposition, but um, it's okay. And we're not taking that full health pill with us, which is the riskiest of all the propositions involved. But still, I think that was a pretty good setup right there. Didn't cost us too much time and provided us with a damage upgrade, which is amazing. A damage upgrade plus we're in Whore of Babylon state. Let's hope this is the right way, although I have to imagine that our boss room probably would take us through, or like our trip to the boss room should probably take us through um, that, uh, that big room. Normally you can't get out of a floor without doing the big room. That's my limited experience at least. Uh, no. Sorry. Can't justify taking the uh, strange attractor here. The magnetic tears are just too dubious. Sometimes they can be great, sometimes they can be terrible. Considering our relatively low HP, I'm going to err on the side of them probably being kind of terrible right now. No, thank you. Okay, this is our shop. I will take theirs options. Uh, I will take this. I will take this. It's a little expensive, but at the same time. Uh, there's options. For seven cents, because we did get a steam sale from fighting greed on the last floor, it means that we have basically a reroll on the next floor, not on this floor. I found pills. Okay, we got to be fast. Like I said, you got to go through the big room. But we've been going pretty quickly here. Um, this room is the, the like the easiest big room, I think. We can just stand. We can actually put ourselves like near the door. Doors, uh, unfortunately. Doors of motorsport. Again, uh, we might actually want to recognize that um, boss rush might not be that valuable for us because we still don't have any means of teleportation. That was incredibly poor damage on my part. Maybe a teleport card or something there. No, oh, picked up HP that I probably should not have, but that's okay because we still have Blue Baby's only friend. It's kind of like a backup damage here. Again, piss poor damage right there. Very displeased with myself. How are you not dead, though? I might as well take this then. 1911. Hmm. It's not going to be too likely, I'd say. Should be blowing these guys up to get like a teleportation card chance, but we gotta go so fast now. There's like a penny that dropped back there. Now we're in the position where like the only thing I would even want from Boss Rush is an item that makes it. Oh, it's a key actually that dropped. The only thing I would want from Boss Rush is an item that makes it um, like a no brainer win for me, which is rare <laughs> to say the least. Let's give it a try though. I know we left a key back there. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. It's looking unlikely. Let's just put it that way. Oh, okay. I know I'm taking some dumb damage in the process. That's actually damage that could be pretty fatal for me. Yeah, we're not going to make boss rush, but we should get a deal with the devil. And that's pretty important, especially if we can get like a guppy's paw. Oh, okay. Now, don't blow your deal with the devil chance. Get that overlay out of here so you can actually see what the heck is going on. You got that judgment when you need it, and I, I've, I've, you know, for for a while, Boss Rush Meta was very kind to me. That does not appear to be the situation recently. I'm be fighting Krampus. I've ended up, you know, I, I, I don't, I didn't actually sacrifice going to any shops or item rooms on this floor. Oh, that was terrible. Um, but I did still put myself in a bit of a tougher position. Now this probably will not pay out with the deal with the devil item unless it also pays out with like a perthrow rune, but it might be one of our last deals with the devil, so I figured let's give it a shot at least. At the very least if it gives me like some red hearts, that would make me feel a little bit more comfortable cuz I could conceivably lose this. Yeah, but like trying to get the boss rush just Oh, I thought it was going to work. Just it made me play pretty sloppily actually. Uh, I don't appreciate that portable slot, to be honest with you. Alright. Uh, what's better, Ansu's Rune or the um, Judgment card? Honestly, Ansu's Rune is probably more like consistently useful, but the Judgment card has a higher potential upside even though we have no money, in my opinion. So let's try to make it work here. We're in, uh, we're in a tight spot, I'll be the first to admit that. A lot of not so fantastic play on my own behalf. A particularly sloppy uh, last floor. That was a dodge I hoped I wouldn't have to make. 
but uh, we're we're not sunk yet by any means. Please die before you get close. Thank you. Do we have like a child's heart opportunity? Because if we did and I didn't take it, I should have. There's red hearts over there I can't do anything with. We'll throw this judgment down just because we might as well. At, at worst, we can almost guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil. Oh god, I didn't realize I was trapped down here. We can almost guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil just by... That, those guys could have killed me right there. Just by killing enough judgments. So I need I need HP right now. Balls of steel. I love you. Sometimes, you know, that's some trademark Northern Lion luck right there if you want to get a technical. I'm just going to put myself as far away from the action as is humanly possible. Blue Baby's only friend doing some sustained damage up in the top left corner of your screen. Oh, a little slow. Okay, there you go. Worked it out. And remember, like, one, one demon judgment could completely change the face of this run right now. We have taken red heart damage, so a deal with the devil is a bad chance. But I think, like, I'm not sure if it's each beggar you blow up gives you, like, a plus X percent chance of getting a deal with the devil. Or if every beggar you blow up gives you a... Or, sorry, if, if blowing up beggars is, like, a binary state that gives you a, uh, like, a plus X percentage chance of getting a deal with the devil. I hope that it's, um, you know, you get... It's, I hope it's not a binary state, basically. I hope you get a little bit of a higher chance for every single one that you blow up. But it is, it's wishful thinking. But where would we be without wishful thinking, right? Oh, that's not very good. I don't see any tinted rocks. After a cursory glance, I don't see any tinted rocks. Now, there is... Fuck this room, for one. But there is an opportunity here. That's real bad. For us to... Oh, we found a secret room by accident. It's not greed in there, somewhat amazingly. You know what? We need to kind of pay the piper here. No spiders. No spiders. The extra money might be more valuable than you even believe right now. Okay. Watch out for the creep there, but still, that red heart's very meaningful. Use this judgment. You get, you get three of my cents. I'm not going to blow you up yet. So, you know, prove your worth. I'm not going to blow you up yet. No pressure. Sad bombs proving particularly important. More keys. Oh, I almost got myself trapped in there. Another half red heart. Lovely. I think, you know, this, this is like... We've turned Binding of Isaac from like a roguelite into a survival game here. We are... Scrounging for everything that we can get. There's still one of the, I was going to say, he's got like no HP left. And what we, I guess, should do is if we're, if we're going to be doing a little bit of backtracking, we should put the judgments down next to one another so when we blow them up, we, we save on the bomb economy a little bit, you know? Nope, that's bad. Oh, never mind, it's great. Okay. We did fine. I don't really want that half red heart because we can actually benefit from some permanent Polaroid invincibility. And maybe we can actually get this demon judgment. Demon judgment? That's a regular judgment. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be putting some bombs down eventually. But for now, let's just uh, enjoy life here. Okay, just got Polyphemus. I'm a little jealous. I gotta admit. Gotta take our time here and get this uh, bomb. Then play it cool. Probably could have gotten out, but oh my god. There is no worse way to take damage than the way I just took damage right there. Just, just complete idiocy. Now, our boss probably is not going to be that bad, but there is always the chance that we end up butting heads against a conquest or something like that. So, let's um, let's take this opportunity to pick up as much HP as we possibly can. This guy moves pretty quickly. You know, if we can blow this up or find another Tinted Rock or something. This is one of the rare times that I think I actually will uh, explore the... In you know what? We've got bombs. One of the rare times I think I will explore the entirety of the floor. Ooh, that was very close. That curse room is, is still off limits. This is not a door. Chechi ne pa un port. That's, <laughs> that's as good as my French can get. Pride. Doesn't really matter to me at all, actually. Now it does, because we got some HP. High Priestess. Well, the High Priestess uh, carries some value. Because what we will do is just pop that... Oh, we can't get through there. Okay. Uh, we will just pop that on our... 
boss fight and not we're going to keep taking these judgments with with us just because they're extremely important um again even just blowing up like five of them can be meaningful oh god red hearts red hearts eternal heart we'll try to remember that it's the bloat the bloat's nearly dead difficult boss for this stage of the game relatively speaking so very glad that high priestess worked out in our favor there we did not get a deal with the devil but we got super bandage which is really really nice here so, oh, I hate this room. I hate this room. Got to remember to just stop moving as soon as you enter a room. Makes me feel like a, a dang idiot, though. Oh, I, the sad bombs knocked my bomb over there. It's okay. Um, we're not worried about deals with the devil anymore. So I kind of think we should just pop into this curse room. And yeah, we're going to lose our spirit heart. But there's a chance of us getting like Guppy's Paw or something in the process. Ended up probably not being worth it. We've squandered a lot of the HP we gained from Super Bandage. But we have another judgment. Be a demon judgment. Save my life. As a regular judgment. And we uh, we have not very much time left in our, uh, in our schedules here for regular ass judgments. Because they are not paying out with what we need. Or we don't have the consumables to make them pay out with what we need them to pay out with. Umbilical cord. No thank you. Ah, I came within about a fraction of a second of taking damage there. Good. Good. And good. You know what? Blue Baby's only friend might be a, like a better than decent uh, lost item. I was just thinking about it. You know, you can fly, so you can just hang out over top of some rocks. Let Blue Baby's only friend carry you through the first few floors. Maybe get a good deal with the devil. Could happen. If Ipecac and Lost Contact can do it, Blue Baby's only friend can do it. I'm a little surprised as well that we got zero extra money over the course of this floor. Like that's it's very surprising to me. But at the very least, you know, this is what I uh this was my worst case scenario here. Throw this down. We got two red hearts, two cents, and a luck up pill. That might be pretty good. It might be nearly worthless, but it might be pretty good as well, you gotta admit. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the womb part two. And as far as this floor goes. Oh, I am gonna, I am gonna murder that room if I get a chance. That's my own fault times about a thousand, but still, that's what makes, that's what burns me up even more. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Okay, womb two. Again, we're gonna choose maybe like our spawn room to stack up these judgments. And I'm looking for a demon judgment, because it, 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 a demon judgment allows me to do like a Hail Mary pass, basically. Just hoping for a black market there. Um... If we get a, yes, if we get a Demon Judgment, interesting, um, we can, not so interesting, we can choose to go down to Permanent Polaroid Invincibility to play the crap out of it in the hopes of getting a really, really good item. And there have been situations where that's worked out reasonably well, there's been situations where that has killed me. I, I relish the opportunity though. It's a Demon Judgment. I'm not going to play it yet. Just in case we get a second Demon Judgment. Because if we can get two Demon Judgments played for the, the price of one. That would be good. We, we need to, if possible, stay at a half hard interval though. Uh, that I, I can't see how that wouldn't be worth it with a Tinted Rock right here. Much appreciated. Big Room. I hate you. But actually, these blast assists are, are going to be pretty weak. So if I just kind of keep myself at the outskirts here, I should be able to, to whittle them down really quickly. Yeah, that worked fine. It's I mean, it's a little tedious, but it's not that bad, all things considered. And this is what we're hoping for, is like a demon judgment that will pay out with brimstone. This fucking room, man. How many blast assists can you put on one room? Hey, a penny. That might come in handy, maybe. Well, in hindsight, I would take that um, Blast Assist room about a thousand times over the room that we're dealing with right here. Not that Monstro's that bad, but still. I think that one sad bomb was a pretty okay investment there. We don't want that yet. Oh, but this is a this is a valuable room in the future. I knew that this was a dead end, but it was also like the only small room surrounding us. Well, one of the two small rooms surrounding us, so I figured it was a decent play. Alright. Now, if we can just put this... Uh, where, are you up here where the pill was? No. 
You must be up in this little corridor up here. This is where things start to get very interesting. Ah, okay. Why play two Demon Judgments if we can play three Demon Judgments, right? Let's try to get one more blank card charge. This is pretty much the, the exact contingency I was hoping for. This whole run has been about, you know, things that have a minute chance of happening, but if we stack up enough in a row, who knows, right? Um, like, the chances of us getting those Demon Judgments is pretty minute. Well, it was, it was probably like 25%, so that's not that bad. But the, the chances of them paying out with something is also pretty bad, but if we stack up enough, you know, samples, we'll, or enough, uh, enough instances of it, we'll probably have a pretty good opportunity to actually make it reality, you know, to get something good out of it. Or, it is possible that these demon judgments will also result in my death. But I don't think anyone's gonna blame me too much for that, honestly. I think, um... Not, not that this run has been unlucky, because there has been some very lucky stuff that has happened to me on this run. I've played a little bit suboptimally. Well, quite suboptimally, in fact. But, uh... We... I think people would be okay with me throwing my, my run at the chance of these Demon Judgments. Because it's, you know... It's like if you got, you know, 50 bucks to your name and 100 will make it better. Maybe it's... No, that is a terrible example. Alright, so I'm gonna play this guy, just see if he pays out with anything. But I think at this point, we've got to start playing these Demon Judgments. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay, how am I, I got to hit both these guys like at once. I got three plays for one there. Uh, that one didn't work. Oh, now I'm out of sync. Okay. Get back into it. So we're in Horde Babylon State, but we also have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Go deep. Go deep. Uh. Oh! I thought I had another second. Shit. <laughs> I hear the sounds of a good run coming from the other room and it just makes me mad. It's my own fault. What I should have done is just played it safe, picked up the other red heart, gotten another period of permanent Polaroid invincibilities, seen what that card was. Oh well. Thanks for watching. You know, we tried. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.